Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Jones. Just going over how to use the online matrix calculator to help you do this assignment. Because on this assignment, you are supposed to use a calculator to perform these operations. And so you have to put the matrices in a calculator and have it do the work for you. Um, we're going to actually use this first problem here as our example. And so to do that, you're going to need to open this up. There's a link in the Canvas page, or you can just type in desmos.com slash matrix and it brings this up. To enter in a matrix, you start by pushing new matrix, and it, uh, it starts with A equals. So A is gonna be our first matrix, and this matrix is one row and three columns, and so I'm gonna change my dimensions to be one row and three columns. And now it matches the same size of what's on my paper here. It's gonna be three, five, one. So I'm gonna put in three, five, one. And to jump between those, I just push tab, but, or you can click on them individually and put in the numbers. Once they're in there, go ahead and push enter, and it saves it in your calculator. We need to put in a second one, so I'm going to push new matrix again. Oh, that's too many new matrices. Uh, so uh, I got my new matrix here. And this one is also one row and three columns. So I'm going to put one row, three columns. And the numbers here are six, five, and three. So I'm going to do six, five, three, and now I have my second matrix. Now that both of these are in here, I can tell the calculator to add, subtract them, try to multiply them. Uh, you can do those things, but we just need to add here, and to do that, this is an, I need to do my first matrix A plus my second matrix B. So I'm going to push A, and then plus, and then B, and now I can push Enter. Uh, it's here on my right side, nine four, sorry, nine ten four, and so I'd write my paper nine ten four. It's a one by three matrix. So now that you've seen one of the kind of more simple examples. Let's jump to one that's a little bit more complicated, like. 15, it's only more complicated because the matrix is bigger or the matrices are bigger, uh, but it's the same process. So I'm going to go back to my matrix calculator. To enter in new matrices, go ahead and just clear everything, make sure everything's cleared out, because we're going to put in brand new ones. So I'm going to click new matrix. It, again, it tells me it's A. That's because I cleared all the old ones out. But I'm going to go ahead and say this is my new A matrix. It has one, two, three, four rows and two columns. So I'm going to turn it to four rows, two columns. And now I'm going to enter all these in. Let's see, negative six, three, uh, negative four, negative two, negative two, negative five, and negative one, negative six. That's a three, six. Voila, so I got my first matrix in there. I need to put in my second one, which has two rows and three columns. So I'm going to enter a new matrix, two rows, three columns. I'm going to enter these numbers in, 4, 0, 2, and 0, negative 1, 0. So I have my second matrix in there. I am trying to multiply these two together. So I'm going to push A, and then multiply 2, enter, and this is the resulting matrix. It's kind of big. It's got four rows and three columns, but that's the answer. So that's what you're going to write down on your paper here uh, with all these numbers. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how this works. Uh, once again, when you get to the next one, just hit clear all, and you can clear it, and you can start entering new matrices. And there you go. Good luck.